Hey guys, before I get started into the video here, I just wanted to let you guys know something about these websites. I went to Ram's website, GM and Ford, and Ford and General Motors um, websites were pretty smooth, not too difficult to navigate around. However, Ram's website was extremely slow. Um, a lot of the options that I selected were incorrect. Uh, some of the information was wrong. It would bounce you back to different pages. It was just not a user-friendly website, even from a technical perspective and how it was built. So if I had to give Ram a suggestion, um, definitely they need to change and upgrade their website because it was very difficult to, uh, to navigate through and very cumbersome. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you. So hey, everybody. So what I'm going to try to do today is um, clarify some information that some people may not be aware of when it comes to specking out some of these trucks. A lot of people aren't aware that when you buy a Ram truck, a Ford, or even a GM, that you have to pick certain configurations of those trucks from transmission to your rear end axle ratio to uh, even the engine option in order to get certain towing capacities, certain uh, certain torque ratings, and even certain horsepower packages. So that being said, I'm going to quickly kind of walk you through and navigate you through the website here of the various truck manufacturers so you can get the idea of what I'm referring to. I'm going to start with Ram because by far there are more people that um, don't apparently understand that when you buy a Ram truck, if you don't opt for a certain package, you're not going to get 900 pound-feet of torque. You're going to get 800 pound-feet of torque and 370 horsepower versus 385 horsepower and 900 pound-feet of torque. So let's start by picking 2017 model. Let's build this truck out. So now we're on the build and price section. Build and price section simply lets us pick uh, what cab configuration, what box configuration, and which model or what trim package. Um, for the sake of it, let's just select the Laramie package. We'll switch it to 4x4. And we'll stick with the crew cab um, with the short bed. As you can see down here, it gives you some of your pricing. It gives you some of the, uh, the different horsepower, transmission, towing levels, all of this stuff. Specifically, uh, what comes standard typically on this truck. And this is the gas-powered V8 with 383 horsepower. That's going to be your Hemi. So now we get to select some more information specifically related to the powertrain. As you can see, we have the 2017-2500 Laramie Crew Cab 4x4 with the short bed. When you go down here, you'll notice you have three transmission options and you have three engine options. The first two engine options are going to be Hemi engines, and the third one's going to be your Cummins. But as you notice here, you don't have an ISIN transmission option over here, which is the medium-duty transmission that they offer. If you get that specific transmission then you're automatically going to get 900 pound-feet of torque in a high-output Cummins engine. But if you don't opt for that specific transmission, you won't get it. And as you can see on a 2500 series truck, it doesn't give you that option. So if you select the 68 RFE transmission, which is the only one that works with the Cummins, you select that, it'll automatically tell you that you have to go to the Cummins engine. And it's going to tell you what it will remove. Also, you won't have the option for a 410 axle ratio with the Cummins engine on 2500. That 410 axle ratio is only available if you get the 6.4 liter V8 Hemi. So, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to start over. Now I'm going to select 2017. I'm going to look at the 3500 series trucks and build one of those. So in this truck, again, if I select crew cab, I'll have to select crew cab with an 8-foot bed for the specific example I'm going to give you. Again, you have your options here. Let's again pick a Laramie, four-wheel drive. Switch that back to a crew cab with an 8-foot box. Now again, all your information's down here. It really hasn't changed much except for your towing is going to increase slightly and your payload will also increase because it's a 3500 series. Select powertrain. Now if you noticed, the last screen didn't give me an option to select this truck as, as a dual rear wheel or a dually configuration. So what I'm going to have to do is I need to go down and you'll actually see the same engine choices. A 5.7 liter Hemi, 6.4 liter Hemi, and a 6.7 liter Cummins. But you'll see the addition of 
a fourth transmission option, which is going to be your ISIN 6 speed transmission. This specific transmission paired with this specific Cummins engine gives you the 900 pound feet of torque and the 385 horsepower. So when I select here, you'll see it's automatically going to add the Cummins engine and it's going to delete the 5.7 liter Hemi. Now, interestingly enough, this was incorrect before, and I don't think they've changed it. If I click Details here, it should say it has 900 pound-feet of torque, but clearly they haven't updated their website because it still lists it as 865 pound-feet of torque, which is incorrect. Secondly, the towing capacity is listed correctly, and the payload capacity is listed correctly. However, the torque rating is um, from the 2015 model and not the 2016 model. So that's incorrect. If I select the six speed automatic transmission, the R or 68 RFE, along with this Cummins engine, I now have a 800 pound foot of torque um, configuration with 370 horsepower. So by simply selecting from this particular transmission to this particular transmission, I'm losing um, 100 pound-feet of torque and roughly 15 horsepower. Now all the trucks that I've driven at the Ram dealerships and made videos of all came equipped with the 68 RFE transmission, even the Tradesman Dually as well as the Laramie Longhorn. Now, it says right here, if I select that transmission, it's going to put me in the 5.7 liter. Um, if I hit yes, I can reselect that specific engine, and it will allow me to pair it with the 68 RFE. See right here, I can either pick a manual transmission, the ISIN, or the 68 RFE. Now, I'm going to select the ISIN transmission. Hit yes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down because, again, you still haven't been given an option to make this truck a dually yet, as you'll notice. Keep going down, keep going down. As you can see, there's really no option for allowing this truck to be a dually. But if I select 410 axle ratio, which you can get on a 3500 truck, it then gives me the option to add dual rear wheels with a 17 by 6 inch wheel package. Right, yes. It's going to tell me that it automatically is going to bump up my gross vehicle weight rating to 14,000 pounds. It gives me the 410 axle ratio and it removes the 18 inch wheels and the, you know, the tires that come on the single rear wheel truck. Select yes. So now I have the configuration I'm looking for for the maximum towing, maximum payload, and maximum torque and horsepower for this specific truck. The 3500 crew cab truck with uh, in four wheel drive with an eight foot box. Because of course, eight foot box is the only box you can get with dually. So I just wanted you to be aware of that because I think a lot of people aren't aware of um, how specific you have to be with your axle ratio as well as your transmission um, in order to get a dually configured truck with the most horsepower. Now we're going to move on to Ford vehicles. So now we're looking at the Super Duty. Now one of the nice things about the Super Duty from a building and configuration perspective is how simple it is to pick their maximum most capable truck. And for the sake of this video that's what I want to kind of point out is maximum capable trucks. If I select Build and Price, their website is much much faster than Ram's website. Build your own truck. If I select F450, I'm automatically going to get this truck configured, and you'll see it here in the picture in a second, in a crew cab, 8-foot bed, dually, four-wheel drive with a 6.7 liter engine and the 430 gearing. Just right off the bat, and I'll show you. Right there. That automatically is going to opt me for a body configuration that provides their greatest towing numbers, and I believe that's into the 32,000 pound range now. Whereas... Um, you're automatically going to get your 430 gearing, four-wheel drive, all of that. And then all you have to pick is which trim package you want. 
All right, so that's really nice that, you know, if you just want a crew cab long bed, you only have to select an F450 and you're automatically going to get that spec'd out. Of course, if you go for a 250 or 350, you still have a lot of options, whether you want a 350 in a dually configuration or a single rear wheel configuration, whether you want it with a, you know, a six and three quarter foot bed or an eight foot bed, um, four wheel drive or two wheel drive, you still have all of those options. And you even have some axle ratio options if you want it with the max tow package or if you want it with uh, the general tow package. It really um, gives you that flexibility. But since the most popular cab configurations on these trucks now are crew cab long bed dualies, if you want that configuration with the most capability, you just select F450 and you're automatically going to get that. Then all you have to do is select your trim package and any other features you might want on the truck. Now, that being said, it's also nice to know that there's only one 6.7 liter configured engine. You're automatically going to get the 925 uh, pound-feet of torque as well as the um, 440 horsepower power stroke in every diesel Super Duty you buy that is considered a pickup truck. You go up to chassis cab trucks or commercial trucks, then there are some um, reductions in horsepower and torque um, to add longevity to the engine, the exact same thing that Cummins does. However, if you're sticking with the pickup truck side, you're going to get the same engine and transmission in all of them, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and move on to the uh, General Motors website. Now we're on GMC's website. We're going to click on trucks. We're going to go to their heavy duty lineup. As you can see, they have quite a few different selections here. And since pretty much GMC is all pickup trucks and SUVs, um, they can put everything on one page like this. But let's go ahead and look at a Sierra 3500 HD. Now keep in mind, the Sierra and the Denali can come with the exact same engine, transmission, and payload towing numbers. Um, but the Sierra is their more volume truck, so that's why I'm specifically selecting that. That's why I selected the Lariat with the Ford, and that's why I selected the Laramie with the Ram product. Now, this is kind of nice as well because it gives you the ability to quickly select the body style that you want. So I like this as much as I like Ford's website because it's very clear which truck is going to have either single rear wheels or dualies. Where on Ram, you actually had to get into the configuration, the transmission, and then select the gear ratio before it gave you the option for dual rear wheels. If you didn't select it there, you could go to the next screen and actually add dual rear wheels as an option to your truck, which to me is just kind of confusing. In this particular case, if I want a dually truck, it lets me know that a regular cab long box I can get with dual rear wheels, I can get a double cab long box with dual rear wheels, and I can get a crew cab long box with dual rear wheels. And since all of the trucks I'm trying to configure here are going to be crew cab long box duallys, let's go ahead and select this one. As you can see, it changed the configuration of the truck. Now I'm going to go down, I'm going to make it a four-wheel drive. And again, you have to give it to General Motors and Ford for making the selection of the diesel very simple. If I select Duramax, you'll see that I'll automatically get the 397 horsepower, 765 pound-feet of torque. If this is the 2017 model, then the number would go up to 445 horsepower and I believe 910 pound-feet of torque. So you're automatically going to get the best engine they have. You're not going to have to go through a lot of uh, hoops to get that specific engine by picking uh, you know, specific axle ratios. As you can see, this specifically requires the Allison 1000 transmission with the 373 gear ratio. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and I'm going to price a 2017 model just so you can kind of see um, if there's any differences there. So by selecting 2017, I can go down and I can build in price. Again, same options. I'm going to select crew cab long box dually. I'm going to select four wheel drive. And then I'm also going to select the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. And if I select on info, you'll see that the engine is, still gets the Allison 1000 transmission, 373 gear ratio. What's interesting is when you're building a 2017 model, it doesn't give you your horsepower or torque ratings. But since they've both been published already, you know, you can pretty much guess what they are. 
So again, the whole point of this video was just to simply to show you that when you're specking out these trucks, you have to be very specific in which um, boxes you check. In the case of Ford and General Motors, it's a lot simpler because you simply select your body configuration, you select whether it's a two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive truck, and then you select your engine, and you automatically are going to get it with the most horsepower, most torque that that truck has, um, and the most capable package it also is delivered in. Where when you go to the RAM product again, at least their website, and trying to navigate through the different features, you have to be careful because you may again end up with a truck that's less capable than what you think it is simply because you didn't check the right boxes or you didn't do enough research to determine specifically which transmission or which um, you know which version of the Cummins whether it was the regular or the high output engine so just be very careful when you're shopping around for these trucks to make sure that you're getting the specific one you're looking for anyways I hope this video has been informative if it has uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you